Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. got laryngitis tonight folks yes the old larynx are uh, are trashed okay all right okay anyway uh hello how are you uh you know we have a brand new look all the way around for this show tonight uh and uh, we'll tell you more about that i mean you notice the first thing is of course that we have a different uh, position where i'm doing this because i'm doing this now from my brand new wonderful uh, uh, what do you call it? A uh, 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 Mac, Mac Pro, and it's really good. And uh, it can really take a licking and keep on ticking or whatever. Anyway, so um, uh, and it uses up. It has so much CPU that we will never run out of CPU, folks. Never run out of CPU. Okay. <coughs> oh God, see this? I got that right there. Yeah, it's a. It's a. Uh, you know what I can't do? I can't keep the uh, the light from. See, see how the light changes when I put that up there. I can't. I tried to fix that, but I can't. I couldn't do it on the other machine. I can't do it on this one. So, anyway, so um, uh, we'll get to all of that, okay, in just a little bit. Uh, I kind of like this though because I can really look at you, you know, and talk to you, okay. Uh, so um, we um, have changed everything around here, and we will we will be explaining the whole thing as we as we go on. But I figured I'd start off tonight with a little bit of uh, Alex likes to gripe. I wish we had a theme for it. Do we have a theme for it? No, we don't have anything we can play. I'm trying to think. Is there is there anything we could play? Nah, nah. Let me see here. Nah. I have to find some Alex likes to complain music. We it, it probably should be the, just the theme song, right? Alex likes to complain. Um, may I say something without equivocation, and that is, Steven Spielberg is a fucking asshole. Uh, why you say I, we love Steven Steven Spielberg? He does all those great mo movies with kids on bicycles going over the moon. Yeah, we loved Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg is, um, I think, maybe one of the... He's not the best director because uh, he has... How can I say this? I, I never felt that he had any empathy. He never really had any soul in his filmmaking. But technically, he was perfect. I mean, if you want to see a perfect movie, uh, watch Indiana Jones, okay, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark probably the most perfect film I've ever seen. If I had to show a film student how do you make a perfect movie, I would show him Raiders of the Lost Ark. It is a perfect, perfect film in the hands of a man who just knows the medium. He knows photography and he knows lighting and he knows the whole thing and he knows how to, you know, how to present a story and so on, but he has no soul. I mean, he was best with Raiders of the Lost Ark. He was best with the adventure films, you know. But when he got into the dramatic stuff, come on. He really doesn't, he doesn't have a soul. And I even felt that Schindler's List lacked soul. I know that sounds strange, but I, I really felt it did. Anyway, I uh, have always felt that he is one of the best directors alive. But a better director from the, from the standpoint of, of film as art okay, is Martin Scorsese, who's got him beat by a mile. But he doesn't have the technique that Spielberg has. Uh, I wish there were this hybrid that came along that was a Spielberg combined with a Scorsese, and boy, would you have a great motion picture director. So anyway, um, why do I say Steven Spielberg is a piece of shit? Let me read you this item. Uh, Netflix. Uh, has gained an unlikely ally in its effort to remain a force in the Oscar race. 
and that's the U.S. Department of Justice. Now listen to this. This is really quite a story. Um, Macon Del, uh, Del Raham, the head of the DOJ Antitrust Division, sent a letter last month to Don Hudson, CEO of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. In the letter, uh, AT&T Time Warner foe makes the case that changes to the eligibility rules contemplated by the Academy could wind up unduly harming Netflix and other streaming services. Get what they're saying. The Justice Department is saying to say that the, the rule they're trying to make, uh, uh, okay, well, let me read it further and then it'll explain it. The letter cites the Sherman Act, which has governed antitrust law since 1890. There could be a violation, Del Rame writes. If the Academy adopts a new rule to exclude certain types of films, such as films distributed via online streaming services uh, uh, from uh, eligibility from the Oscars, he noted that such a move could be interpreted as a group of established entities displaying anti-competitive behavior designed to harm a new rival, right? Netflix is not a babe in woods, however. The Silicon Valley giant has spent billions ramping up formidable movie machine, releasing dozens of films from teen rom-coms to art house titles to higher budgeted films from household names. Uh, it plans releases in the next year or so from Michael Bay, who is like Mr. You know, adventure movie, Transformers, uh, Pearl Harbor. Uh, i got to think of all the other films he made. He's not a, I don't think he's a great director, but he does make these blockbusters. And Martin Scorsese, who is going to uh, do a film and uh, it will come out in 2019, extending the pattern. During the recent Oscar season, Netflix spent tens of millions of dollars on a blitz for Roma and the Ballad of Buster Scruggs and other films, while the streaming giant came away with four wins of 15 nominations, including three for Alfonso's Caron, uh, critically lo <coughs> lauded Roma, there goes my voice. Uh, the fact that the films only uh, appeared only in select theaters for a few weeks before arriving on the streaming service rankled many Academy members. Let me, let me tell you, there's a rule that a, a motion picture becomes uh, 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 qualified to be considered for Oscar nomination. If it plays in a motion picture for, I think, even just one day before uh, December 31st or before January 1st. Uh, and uh, so what uh, Netflix would do is they release the movie to, the, to a theater or several theaters for a couple of weeks and then, you know, put it on their uh, Netflix uh, platform, which they should do. They paid for the goddamn movie for crying out loud. Now... Here's why I hate Steven Spielberg, okay? Um, uh, the fact that, let's see here. Uh, one of the most rankled uh, turned out to be Steven Spielberg. The director derided Roma as a TV movie. Now, I don't know if you've seen Roma, but it's hardly a TV movie. It is an art house movie, but it's not a TV movie. And it is from an established movie director, a guy so established he has won an Academy Award for Best Director for that space thing a couple of years ago. I uh, forget the title of it right now. Uh, but he is saying that uh, he called for significant changes to Academy rules to make it tougher on films championed by streaming services to ignore traditional release windows and protocols en route to nominations. Okay, you're a piece of shit, Stephen. And here's one of the reasons why. You refuse to realize that a person makes a movie, and you, you should know it more than anybody else, because when you were a kid, you, 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 know, you made your little films, right? You would have liked them to be shown in a big theater, but they couldn't be because, well, you were just a kid doing an 8 millimeter. But if there was an outlet for that, you would have been delighted. Well, today, new filmmakers have this great new platform. It's Netflix, it's Amazon, it's Hulu, and it's any number of others who are jumping into this, including Apple, who just announced their own uh, channel, okay? Uh, and uh, they 
Uh, excuse me, folks. I have to blow my nose. If I don't, I'll the snot will. You'll see snot coming out of my nose. Okay. Okay. So uh, it, it, the fact is, the times change, and the method of distribution changes, and the places people can see things change, and the way in which they're shown changes. Now, yeah, I'll agree with you if you were back in 1950, you would rather go to a movie theater with a big screen in the audience than to sit at home with this grainy black and white TV set. But now I've got a 65-inch in one room and a 55-inch in the other room, and if I wanted to buy one, I could buy one as big as 85 inches. I'm sitting in a fucking movie theater. I'm watching it in 4K, which is the same projection they use in movie theaters, all right? Uh, and so consequently, it's just the venue has changed from the theater to the home. And you have your little home theater, and you watch your movies, and you watch them on Netflix. And if somebody makes a great movie that you watch on Netflix, why shouldn't they get nominated for an Academy Award? There was no reason Roma shouldn't be nominated for an Academy Award in anybody's world. And the fact that you say, well, it's just television. No, it's not, Stephen. You want to know better than anybody. It's film. It is absolutely film, Stephen. So you're a piece of shit. Because what you're doing is you're saying, oh, well, if it isn't shown in a theater, then it's not really a movie. Huh? Have you seen Roma? It's a better film than any of the shit you've turned out in the last couple of years. And by the way, have I mentioned that Steven Spielberg, who hates Netflix, has signed up to do programming on the Apple channel? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this little piece of shit is duplicitous. He's complaining on one hand about Netflix because he's not working for Netflix, all right? And on the other hand, he's going over to work for Apple, you know? So fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Uh, I mean, it, 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 the fact is, uh, uh, let me tell you a story. Yesterday, was the yesterday? No, Sunday. Uh, a girlfriend and I haven't been to a movie in I don't know how long. And the reason is, there hasn't been anything we really wanted to see. Well, we heard that uh, Captain Marvel was a fairly good film. So I said, let's go see it. So she said, oh, okay. Well, she buys the tickets. It's 3D. Uh... Comfy chair theater, uh, the prices have gone up. Yeah. She paid, I think it was $49 for two senior tickets. $49. And then I paid another 15 going to the theater and 15 coming back, so that's 80 And then we bought popcorn and shit like that. Before we were through, we spent almost $100 going to a movie. And can I tell you, this picture fucking sucked. It was terrible. It's so bad, the girlfriend says, you owe me two movies now. Well, I don't know if I, if I want to do two movies. but Anyway, that was the deal, all right? And uh, I am, uh, it, 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 you know, so when you say go to the movie theater to see the movie, I would rather sit at home and watch the movie, okay? I've got a 3D television set in there just Show me a 3D copy and I'll, I'll watch it in 3D. If not, I'll just watch your 2D picture. But I don't have to go to a movie theater and spend that kind of money to see the film. In fact, if I watch it at home on, say, Apple or whatever, it'll only cost me something like, uh, I don't know, 15 bucks or something like that. So I don't get it. Hold on. Going to blow the nose again. Oops, I forgot to, <laughs> I forgot to bring the mic down so you heard me blow my nose. Okay, anyway, let's get on to uh, what you're about to see tonight. The other night, we, we a absolutely had to make things do at the last minute, and so I gave a real go at uh, trying to... What happened is, for the longest time, we have used Skype uh, as our way of talking to people, of getting people to, into the conversation. It first started because I was looking for a way that I could use phones to have people call me. Then I said, you know, phones, I got a phone pay, pay the phone company. They come over and they wire four different lines and, you know, there's nobody here to clear them. And I, I, and then I said, oh, well, there's this thing called Skype. That would be good. People could call me using Skype. And then we found out that when they called with Skype, the audio was so much better than with a telephone. Okay. So uh, 
uh, we started using Skype. And I said, well, we have video. Why don't we put the video on? And so we started putting the video on, and we found that we could have video and talk, and all the citizen panel is here. And how we did it was we used a program, which I'm using here, called, uh, called uh, uh, OBS, which is a, uh, uh, it's a, basically it's a video switcher. It does things like, uh, like this, okay? It does stuff like that, okay? So just, just so you know, okay? Uh, and uh, I then took the, the picture, the Skype picture, and I took uh, it and I uh, brought it into the OBS system so you could then see the Skype screen, all right? And that, uh, that, that then was okay. Uh, but then they went to a new Skype system and the problem was, ready for this? It didn't work. It wouldn't, I could not bring the Skype into it. Uh, however, there was a workaround that was invented by some people I know at New Tech. That's why I'm wearing the t-shirt tonight at New Tech called NDI. And what it does is it brings the individual callers' pictures in. I can place them anywhere on the screen. I can, uh, you know, uh, it takes a little bit of doing when they first call. I have to assign them a, a, a spot, you know. Uh, but you won't know about that. I'm just going to be down here potchking posh, around. But when we did it the other night, it, it looked good, except for the fact that all the squares kept changing sizes, okay? And I know that was annoying for a lot of you, and it was more annoying for me because I like to do a show and sit here and talk with you and not have to sit here going, oh, let me resize that picture. Oh, that one just went up. Now i got to resize that one. So I went online, I did some research, and I guess one guy online had the answer. And I then went in and applied his answer, and then we tested it the other night with Phil, and everything hopefully is rock solid, okay? Uh, and none of these pictures will move around. Plus, I've now put them in a nice order, and I've got uh, different, uh, different formations for like three people who call, up to six people who call, up to eight people who call, up to 12 people who call. And I can put them all on the screen uh, at the same time. And the picture looks good and whatever. Now, if you call the program and you're looking at Skype, you're going to see an entirely, you're not going to see what the audience is seeing. We now, this thing is not a representation of the Skype picture because I don't like what Skype's done with the new Skype. What they've done is they made it so that, uh, and, and if, you're, if you're calling us and you're using Skype, and by the way, I think anybody can call us now. You don't have to kind of have us make you a contact or whatever. You just call us and we will put you into the group, okay? So if you've ever had a hesitation about calling, all you have to do is use Skype, go to get, call GabNet Live, L-I-V-E, okay? L-I-V-E, GabNet Live. And, uh, you know, we'll be able to take your call. Uh, and, uh, uh, but here are a few rules, please. Do, do not play around with Skype, all right? The only thing you should do is you're probably gonna wanna move some pictures down. You can drag and drop them down into the, into the main field to get the people you wanna see who are talking. Otherwise, you're gonna see them in little bubbles at the top and they'll be talking. Okay, that's fine. I don't think that's a problem for you. You have control over what you see there, but don't change anything else. Don't try to share. Don't try to hit any button that says share or, or anything like that because that will completely fuck us over. Also, don't mute anybody, okay? I'm saying that because if you mute them, they have to unmute themselves again. So uh, don't do that, okay? In other words, don't. we ask that you not play with the new Skype, okay? Just use it and if you want to bring a picture down like take one of the bubbles and drop them into the middle you'll see that it will pop into the middle but that's not what people are going to see here what people are going to see here is the configurations that i've created for the program and i think it will be a far more pleasing experience <coughs> the only problem is the names of the people who are calling are not there okay and they're not going to be there so whatever 
Now, if anybody wants to check, I've got the lines open. So if at any point you want to call, uh, we would love to uh, we would love to hear from you and we'll try to see if we can make this thing work nicely and efficiently and without problems, without me having to go crazy over uh, what we uh, what we see. Uh, my lines are open. I just opened them up. And uh, you can uh, you can call if you want to. Uh, so anyway, uh, but this is all this is all because I've had to go to the new Skype. Uh, I had to uh, stick with it, uh, go with it because there was there was no other answer. There was no other uh, solution to the problem. All right, uh, and um, so by doing that, it kind of forced me to have to go to this new uh, this new format that we're doing. Uh, and um, well, here comes uh, here comes Josh Wheeler. Okay, now I've got Josh. Uh, he's been added to the group. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is now gonna, what? Uh, yeah. Uh, hello, Josh. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, let me just uh, go here and put you on here. Well, hold on a second. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I got to add uh, Charlie uh, here. But let me first. Let me go to. Uh, Josh, and we'll okay, Josh. There we go. And now, uh, Charlie, uh, what's the name you use? Is that uh, what name do you use? Uh, Charles Wallace. Oh, uh, 489. Oh, really? I don't see it here. Oh, 989. Charlie Wallace, 989. I don't see it here. That's strange. I have Josh. Okay, well, well, hold on a second. Maybe it's got Cork 75. Uh, 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 let me. Oh, I see. This is why. Okay, now let me go. Here we go. There's uh, Charles Wallace. Okay. All right, now uh, I'm going to show you, folks, what's going to happen. These are the first two. Look at that. There we go. Is that not nice? I like that. <laughs> Actually, I, I should have done it the, the old way of just going boom and then boom. Oh, oh really? It, it, I didn't want to do that. Anyway, um, that's uh, looks good that, to me. huh? Looks good to me. Okay. Well, anyway, it cuts back and forth. It doesn't matter. I've got a problem here, but it doesn't matter. Nothing that anybody needs to worry about. Uh, and so now we have two people. Now, if uh, somebody uh, calls me now, uh, okay, uh, we can put a third person in there, uh, and that's the that's the three configuration. And then, uh, 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 in fact, where's Phil? You would think Phil would have uh, would have joined us. Um, so come on, Phil. Come on. We're waiting on you. He's probably getting coffee. It's not quite. Hey, it's not you know quite what it is? It's not exactly 1030 yet. So he's like going, OK, I don't need to call him. You know, why should I call him? Yeah. Anyway. Um, but anyway, it's it, I don't know if you can see what the people out there are seeing, but it's certainly uh, looks better, uh, than, uh, uh, than it looked before. So, uh, anyway, and I'm looking at it on the, uh, on the YouTube and it looks nice and so on. Uh, so I'd like to get Phil called so we get one more person in here for the time being. Anyway, how you doing, Charlie? I'm doing great. I had a great weekend. Yeah. What did you do? Well, I went bowling. You went what? Bowling. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. I hadn't bowled in about 10 years until last week, and this is the second time I went. Already improving. I always like to joke with people. I took bowling in college. Oh, here we go. Here comes Jeff Stein. Yes. Okay, Jeff. Uh, Jeff has yep. joined us. Hold on a second, Jeff, and we'll uh, give you a little slot here. Uh, we go to... Uh, let me see here. Here's uh, Jeff uh, Stein. There we go. Okay. All right. And let me turn him on. There we go. And uh, there we go. Now we got uh, we got Jeff on. How's that, huh, folks? You like that, don't you? Huh? Isn't yeah. that isn't that, isn't that sexy? Yeah. And none of those are gonna change like they did the other day. They were going all crazy the other day. Oh. But I solved the problem. So I was looking forward to tonight just so I could say, see, I did it. I fixed it. You know. Uh, so what would you do uh, over the weekend, Mr. Uh, Wheeler? 
You know what? We just got back uh, maybe five hours, six hours ago. We were gone uh, since your last show. We were back weekend, and Monday today we spent a couple days out in uh, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, actually. We went and, yeah. and uh, visited the battlefield site. Really? Yeah. Yeah, so we spent... Oh, you, uh, you, we spent a couple days there in a small town and uh, went out to the uh, battlefield. Yeah, you're, you're breaking up Hello? on us. You're, yeah, you're breaking up on us a little bit. I, can you move your uh, your computer a little bit just so it's maybe angled slightly differently? It might be. What are you using? A, a laptop? Yeah. Yeah. Now that yeah. sounds that sounds much better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Did you hear anything I said? Yeah. There, you or? said you went to okay. battlefields. Uh, well, we 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 went out stayed in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania for a mm -hmm. couple days. Yeah. Um, so we went out and saw the battle site there at uh, Gettysburg, PA, and, uh, you know, looked around, stayed in that small town, and did a few things out there. So a few other things. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's uh, quite a bit to do. Probably a lot of people that listen to you probably visited out there before. It's pretty heavily visited area, but uh, it was mm -hmm. a pretty good time. It was We were there. We stayed three full days plus travel, so yeah. it's uh, pretty nice. We went to the... You know, you can visit the house Lincoln stayed at uh, when he went out to, uh, you know, give the Gettysburg Address and, uh, you know, see the room where he finished up his speech, all that kind of stuff, oh, wow. the battlefield the cemetery, et cetera. Yeah, that's very nice. Yeah. And you're a big history buff, so that must be wonderful for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah Patrick was pretty sad he couldn't go. He really likes Gettysburg, oh. but uh, he, he couldn't go. So I told him that... Uh, I told him I was going to tell the Gadmet people we need to start a, like a we need to start like a fundraiser to give Patrick the the yeah. money to take himself out on a little trip, take the tour of the battlefield, roll out a fund. Oh, excuse yeah. me, I didn't mean, I didn't mean <laughs> to put it that way. Uh, hello, Phil. How are you? Hey, how you doing? <clears throat> you know, I, I was listening. You hadn't opened up the lines yet. A friend of mine called me, and uh, you know, then I said, "Hey, I, I saw the light was green for a while." Yeah. Yeah, uh, oh. I'm looking on the YouTube, and you're using the three on the left. Well, uh, it, it just changed over. Oh, okay. I, you know, it'll it'll probably if you wait a minute, it'll change over because you, I then put you on. See? Okay, so this is oh uh, yeah, there we are. Yeah, and if very more people nice. call, we can fit them in very easily. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah. I think this. It looks really good. It looks uh, terrific. Uh, yeah. The picture is so sharp. Wow. What were you looking? Are you looking at your Skype or are you looking at? Uh, He's got to be looking at yeah. YouTube. To... So how do you like the way the YouTube looks? I think it's great. Yeah. 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 If, if it was any sharper, it would cut you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By the way, I want to thank Phil because on, uh, what was it, Sunday night? <clears throat> we did a little Phil and Alex show, which was a test of all of this. Because I have more than just these configurations. I have a, a eight configuration, which you'll see coming up, which is not as nice as the rest of them. But it's only because the eight are so proportioned that I can't, I can't do anything with them like I'm doing here in, in giving them a little, uh, a little the change yeah. as it were yeah. well the good thing is you'll never have to worry about the eight because you don't get that many callers no we do we do <laughs> but when we go to nine i've got a surprise for everybody yeah and i even took your suggestion phil oh really okay for the, for if we ever get 12 okay but oh, that'll boy. never happen Nah. But well, if anybody one. wants to see what happens if nine people call tonight i'll you'll you'll get to see it you know, mm -hmm. sounds right. Yeah. Uh, Plus, I like this now because the other night I was just having to constantly switch things and so on. But once I get somebody on screen, life is good, you know, yeah. and we're we're ready to go. So, you know, um, so all I'm saying, folks, is where the fuck are you? You know? Yeah, well, you know, if a few more call and you fill that up, uh, they'll 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 get a cabinet prize. It, no, they, they, yeah, they'll get to get to see the next uh, uh, iteration uh, yeah. iteration of, of this uh, thing. Well, but, either that or you can put yourself on about 14 times. But you see, what we can do if we want to, if we really want to, is we can get rid of Phil. <laughs> see in there. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah I like the three I, configuration I better anyway. Well, the three configuration's nice, but... Uh, 
Uh, this this configuration is really good. Phil, what did uh, Jeff? What did you do this weekend? Well, not a lot. Uh, I went to see my son. Yeah. And I went over to his house. He's working on some little thing in the basement and yeah. trying to fix some stuff. So I was helping him a little bit with that and watching uh, all uh, sports of the uh, basketball yeah. colleges. Yeah. That was kind of fun. And other than that, I went to the gym and this morning I did a little uh, going into uh, exercise in the water. That's my new therapy. Oh, really? Good. Uh, aqua therapy. Yeah, I I uh, spent the uh, last day or two catching a cold. So, you know, as you can hear. Uh, and it's better now than it was yesterday. But uh, uh, Marjorie gave it to me. Now, this is what's unusual is I usually find that when you get a cold, when like one of you gets a cold, the other one doesn't get it for some reason. Hmm. Like I never, Marjorie would get sick and I just wouldn't get a cold. I wouldn't get whatever she had. This time I did. And so yeah. we, we broke, we broke the rule. And, hmm. uh, so you talked to each other while you were sick? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, we talked to each other while, well, we don't talk to each other at all anyway. So why should we talk yeah. to each other when we're well, sick? That's why you don't get sick. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. So, From sure. one another. Mm hmm. Yeah. So uh, anyway, uh, the um, uh, what do you think about what I was talking about with uh, Netflix and oh. Steven Spielberg and that whole bullshit about Netflix not making movies? Uh, you know, uh, I, I doubt that he's worried about the competition. You know, he's, well, I he's think made... he, I think he is worried. I think he is worried. I think he doesn't know how to play into this, you know, and how to use it to his advantage. Here's the thing. Uh, you know, Martin Scorsese is going to do a movie for Netflix. Uh, it's going to be out perhaps later this year. Martin Scorsese, when he makes a movie, plays to how many people? His movie goes is seen in theaters by how many people? Uh, I would imagine millions. Not really, you know. Huh? He's, he's kind of a specialized filmmaker, and unless it's something that's got a gimmick like Wolf of Wall Street, it probably doesn't do that great. So where do you make your movies? You make them on Netflix. Alfonso Caron, if he just made Roma and put it in theaters, how many people do you think would have seen that? Well, uh, very few, and Let, let's, I, I barely made it through a half hour. <laughs> well, let's say a million. Let's say a million. Yeah. Do you know how many people watched Roma? Yeah, it was, uh, it was widely About watched. Five, 50, 50 million people watched Roma. You would yeah. never get, even if you were the made biggest hit in movie theaters, you wouldn't get 50 million people watching your movie. So why shouldn't you do it on Netflix? You know, isn't the idea that you make something, you want people to see it, as many people to see it as possible. Well, but Netflix uh, uh, is, a, is, is a platform and they choose what goes on it. Unlike YouTube, where if you're going to make a movie, you could put it on no, YouTube no, but, as no, but, well. No, but you're making a bad case here because we're not talking about YouTube. We're talking about Netflix vis-a-vis -vis well, the movie theaters, and there are only certain... We're also talking Wait about getting your stuff out yeah, there. Yeah, well, there are only a YouTube. handful of movie companies, and less yeah. every day. Most of them are now owned by Disney. Okay. So why shouldn't Netflix be there for those people who don't want to have to deal with the major motion picture companies? And they probably get a great deal. They probably get a huge amount of ownership of their own work. And uh, they get a, a good budget. You know, you want to make a movie that costs a couple hundred million? They'll, if it's worth it, they'll do it, you know. Yeah. And they don't interfere. They don't sit there giving you notes about, well, maybe the picture would do better in Boise if we did blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So it people who make movies love Netflix because well, they treat Tom them Ruben well. Did Ruben ever get his Netflix deal? Uh, well, apparently not. Yeah, apparently yeah, not. I know he made he made uh, his stand up act. I was there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know, but we'll, we'll have to. I wait, have the poster. Wait and see. <laughs> you know, uh, let, me, let me close this down here a little bit. There we go. Okay. Uh, uh, so anyway. Uh, we need more callers. See, we have two more spaces on this page to fill up. And then we got the next page. Okay, after that. Yes, yeah. Jeff. I think I went to one movie 
in a in a show to actually see a you know big movie and I can't even remember what one it is but we just don't go to those movies anymore no. I think they're obsolete Char Charlie how often how often how often do you go to a movie Maybe, when was the last time you went to a movie last time I went to a movie was to see Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom <laughs> when was that a year ago yeah <laughs> okay I, how about I you Josh I've been to a movie huh. I can't even remember what I saw uh, yeah I went to one of those comfy chair movie theaters yeah and uh, oh I saw the new Clint Eastwood film that's what I saw mm -hmm. and, and that's about the only film that I've seen what the mule in. no I, I don't even remember the plot I don't remember mm -hmm. the name of the movie uh, it was it was the one that he just did. No, that's the one yeah. where he plays a, a drug dealer, a drug runner. Yeah, that's it. That's oh, it. okay. You went. You actually went to see that in a theater, in a comfy chair theater. Yeah, but why <laughs> go to a theater to see a film like that? When when it's when, not when, it's not out. It's not on TV. Uh, it will be. It is on TV. It is it, locally. Yeah. I can I can purchase it from FiOS to watch. Yeah. Well, at this uh, point. So I purchased it by going to the theater. Yeah, but you purchased it for a great amount more than I would have to pay for it. Um, it would yeah, cost um, me, I think, five ninety nine to watch. Is that what they charge on the TV? And it's already there. So it was Bohemian but, Rhapsody and everything else. Yeah. Well, Bohemian Rhapsody I saw on the plane. and uh, well, That doesn't count. Oh, Steven okay. Spielberg is going to try and shoot down any plane that shows movies. Really? Yeah. Well, I... I think that I see more movies on the plane than I see in the theater. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, yeah. well, I'm with you, Alex. It just costs too much to go to a movie a, theater. Yeah, and then, and then it's a shitty movie. That's the worst part. You know, if I paid that much money and I went to see Captain Marvel and I walked away going, geez, that was great. Wasn't that terrific? I'm glad I had the experience of the surround sound and the 3D. And the, even the 3D was badly projected. It was very dim, you know? So, I mean, it, there isn't even a pride in showmanship at these theaters anymore. They just throw the movie on the screen and hope you'll accept anything they throw there. And you just paid, like, if we paid $49, we're seniors. Who paid the $50, yeah. $55 to get in? You know? Yeah. Fuck, that, fuck them, you know? I want some <laughs> showmanship in my movies, folks. You know? But anyway, uh, so I mean, uh, it's it, it it's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Uh, but uh, I, um, um, you know, I, I was never a fan of Spielberg movies. You know, I, I can't imagine any that uh, I didn't go to the theater to see Jurassic Park. I didn't go to the theater to see any of the Spielberg. Uh, I've never even seen Schindler's List. Yeah. What did you see? Did you see Lincoln? No. No. Okay. Uh, because, you know, if you went to see Lincoln, you would have seen at the end that Lincoln gets on a bicycle and floats over the moon. It was very no, good. didn't see it. Yeah. <laughs> it was very, very good. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't that E.T.? <laughs> yes, that was E.T. I was making a joke, Phil. Oh. Jeez. I like the fact this camera is close enough now that I can mug to it, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, anyway. Yeah, uh, it's not bad. It's too bad you're the only one out of focus, but no, I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need to be out of focus. You see these? You know, oh, yeah. Yeah, I need... Uh, oh, yeah. hey, it's Will Durst. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, folks, we would like you to call us so that we can fill up the... Uh, uh, you see, here, I have to fill that up. Okay, folks, this is what I have to fill up. Okay, and I need two more to do that. Hey. Why don't you surprise them and give them a bunch of fills? Hmm? You, you can give them a bunch of fills. I could do that. I Threaten could. that, and you know, and as they call, you'll take me off. Uh, oh, hey, that's Please a good idea. Guys, Wait a minute, you just you just came up with a with a superb idea to get people to call. Let me see yeah. here. We want another Phil Meyer. Okay, where are you, uh, Scuba? There we go. Okay, and then we want even another Phil Meyer. And right. we go to scuba thingy here, uh, scuba diver, and it's okay. And then I go boom, yeah. uh, and uh, I go uh, boom, and then I go, ready? There yeah. we go. 
there we go, folks. There we have the three Phil Myers. Now, if you don't want three Phil Myers on your screen, <laughs> you have you must call now and yeah. replace. Every time they call. Every time you, you call, we replace a Phil Meyer. Okay, <laughs> so that's that. That's what happens. That's the name of the game, folks. Yeah. I can make them all Phil Meyer and really piss right. you off. You know, <laughs> I've got a twelve where I can put Phil Meyer on every one of the twelve. Okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. See, I don't. I, don't <laughs> I haven't caught up yet, but I know what's happening. You know what's happening. Yeah. yeah. So uh, there's a, there's a so you can see what it's like when it's filled up, folks. So if you want to replace Phil, here's yeah. your chance. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, 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 Jeff. No, I don't see all of the stuff you're it, talking it takes about. Oh, it takes seconds. a while. It, it's not. Yeah, because it's a lag. Oh, are you, you, are you, wait a minute. Are you watching YouTube? Jeff, are you, yeah, you have to no, have the YouTube no, he, on. You have to look it. at YouTube. Uh, yeah, oh, and then there's like a what's on Skype is flag. different. Yes, what's on Skype is completely different. On yes, Skype, it's oh, it's filled up now. Yeah. Oh, there we are. Yeah. Yeah. This looks much yeah, better than than Skype, actually. Yeah. There you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there we go. That's that. what's going out. Uh, oh. So you do that uh, through what? What? Uh, should I switch to that? No, 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 no. no. Don't touch anything. Like, don't touch anything. Don't if you touch your phone or something and you put it on YouTube, no, okay. uh, you, you can see it. But just remember that the it's about 30 seconds or so behind Skype. Yeah. Okay. So, so the name of the game tonight, folks, is Replace Phil. <laughs> we, have, we have three fills. That's more than anybody should have to take. We yeah, and this way. Fill of fills. Huh? Yeah, what we got to do is call in and I get knocked off. You Which know, one it's are like you? like those arcade games where you throw the... Yeah, where's the real Phil? <laughs> well, you know, so uh, anyway, folks, start calling in and replace Phil. Um, so uh, listen, uh, 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 Phil, uh, what do you think of the uh, president the wanting to close down the borders? Hey, I'm happy about it. I know that there's some. it's going to affect some people... Uh, that do cross-border business. Oh, it's going to cost you. Uh, why? Carpet doesn't come from Mexico. <laughs> you like fruits and vegetables, Phil? Uh, no. Hey, carpet layers come from Mexico. <laughs> yeah, they do, but they've already gotten over the border. <laughs> okay. So do drywallers so and uh, siding and uh, roofers and, you know, a bunch of other shit. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, I had one come in today. We're going to run out of avocados. And, uh, you know, uh, my my question was, I said, oh, do you have a license? He says, yeah. He says, uh, I, I can drive. I said, no, 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 a contractor's license. And he says, no, no contractor's license. I said, well, would you work as an employee uh, by the day? or? Uh, and he says, oh, no, no, I want to be paid as a subcontractor. And I said, but you don't have a license. So I said, no, I'm sorry, can't do it. You know, and... Because what will happen is uh, this year they changed some laws, and if he gets reclassified mm -hmm. uh, by the IRS, I'll have to pay additional uh, taxes, and I'll have to pay his taxes. Uh, it could be quite expensive. That's going to put some people out of business well, if they don't that, run that, it right. It, but, and this is all your boys doing, right? No. What do you mean? Uh this is uh, this has been the law of the land for a while, but it's getting enforced. You know, people were saying, "How come there's no e-verify? There's no way to verify if somebody has got the right to work in this country." Mm -hmm. Well, and then they'd say, "Well, it's the employer's fault for hiring these people, and and, and they're not using e-verify, especially a business that's my size, yeah. under 50 employees." Yeah. So. Uh, you know, I think it's I think it's a good thing, and it evens up the playing field. I want people to be responsible and be here legally and, and work. Yeah. John oh, per, oh. John Perulis is calling, but uh, yeah, good. there he is. Hey, so uh, now I have to knock off a Phil. We, we have to knock off a Phil here. Here's uh, let's see here. Let me see which one he is. Uh, he would be. Uh, uh, let me see here. Uh, Hi, Alex. Uh, uh, the bottom two. Live CHNP, something like that, I think, is what it is. Let me see here. Um, there, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. There we go. There's uh, there's John Perulis. See, he just replaced one fill. 
So yeah. I know I heard your request and I just had to jump in there. <laughs> yeah. Hi Phil. Hey, Hi, how everybody. you doing? I'm okay. Yeah. Well, sorry I missed you on Sunday. Uh, we had a good time. Uh, yeah. I, well, I was editing videos, but uh, I'll join you guys. You know, sometime. All right. Well, yeah. But we won't tell Alex what we're up to. Oh no, nah, he'll 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 love it. Uh, yeah. We were gonna go shooting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, uh, we were gonna kill some targets. You were gonna, hey, you were gonna... Will Durst is gonna be in my neighborhood here mm -hmm. at uh, Marin Art and Garden uh -huh. with, with this other uh, comic. Uh, I forget the guy's name now. Jeez. Uh, oh yeah, no, S Swami Beyondananda. Yeah, so that Swami that would be Swami Beyond Ananda. Yeah, he's he's a funny guy. He's really good, and of course, Will Durst is Will Durst. Yeah. Now the Art and Garden Center is very small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But where are they doing it in the theater up there? Yeah, I there's used to, a theater. Uh, I think uh, there's a group uh, from Ross or Kentfield, you know, a theater group that. Uh, yes, I used to be part of the Ross Valley Players, and Ross I used Valley I Players, used to right. I used to work and play do plays in that theater. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, what What did you do? Do you remember? Well, I was since I was a teenager at the time. We did all the teenage p plays. They were always the clean ones, you know. <laughs> uh, and so we did. Uh, I, my my the one I'm famous for was Arsenic and Old Lace, where I played the Karloff oh, it's, character. It's a great it's a great uh, play, even yeah. by today's standards. Yeah. But I remember yeah. all the all the all all the plays that, that high schools used to do in those days. Things like uh, 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 Hearts Were Young and Gay, and uh, Our Town, and you know, and not, not bad plays, really. But uh, today, uh, you know, what are they doing? Are they doing Tennessee Williams now in high schools? I doubt it to this day, you know. Yeah, I don't know. The, the Marin Theater Company has been putting on some really quality stuff. Uh, you know, I forget what they're running now, but they, they're running uh, new play uh, rights. And, um, you know, the cast, every time I go there, I'm just blown away, you know, how good it is. And I wish we'd see more of that in Marin. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so we need to replace the other Phil there. So if there's any one of <laughs> yeah. our other regulars, uh, uh, Mary, come over here. Maybe Mary can. Do no, it. I can't Mary. put her. I can't put her in the other square. So it's it's, it's a dog. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mary, uh, uh, come on. But Say you, hi to you see, folks, how easy this is for me. And it, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, that. Oh, okay. All right. Does she have her own Skype address? Yeah, she has her own. Yeah, Skype. she's a poodle. She's very smart, right, uh, Mary? Uh, yeah, that's right. You, <laughs> Okay. What what necessarily makes poodles smart? I didn't know they were smart. I just knew no, they, they are. Oh, they, she's they are very smart. smart. Actually, yeah. they're water dogs. Yes. Yeah. They're German. They're not French. They were they were trained to be uh, retrievers not, for a while. Uh, they were dogs. trained to be Nazis. Is what they were trained to <laughs> Nazis. be. Are you a Nazi, Mary? They're no, French. Uh, you're not a part. Uh, hey, not hey a... talking about that, uh, Nipsey Russell got shot no, by no. Eric Holder. Uh, uh, Obama's uh, uh, Attorney General. That's uh, an April Fool joke. No, 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 <laughs> yeah. no, no. That was uh, Dipsy. What's it? What was his name? Uh, Nipsey Hustle. Nipsey or, or, or yeah, Nipsey right. Hustle. Nipsey Hustle. Yeah. Well, yeah. Circle yeah. got the square, I guess. You know. Yeah. I never heard of Nip Nipsey Hustle, and I would mourn no, his death either. right now. Hey, listen, I got to tell you something. This is a shocker. Everybody, hold on to your seats, okay? You two yeah. out there who are watching us. Um, I got an, uh, uh, a Facebook uh, message the other day. Uh, you know, I always talk about my lawyer, Mr. Reamer. Yeah. Uh, that, that, no, that that's... Yeah. A, <laughs> great name. It was a great, great name for a lawyer, and I was happy to have him as my lawyer because I could say to somebody like, Phil, you fuck with okay. me, you got to deal with my attorney, Mr. Reamer. <laughs> and the, the, before that, I had a, uh, a lawyer named Joel Turtle. And and you just don't want to tell somebody you fuck with me, you're gonna fuck with my attorney, Mr. Turtle. Yeah, it just he sent you a cease and desist. No. So anyway, <laughs> um, I got this message. Fred died. Fred Reamer died. Oh. They, he a heart attack. They he died at home. 
It was two days before they found him. Same thing like with John Rockwell. Oh. You know, that's two people in one month that I've known intimately. Okay, not just, I mean, not sexually, but intimately as friends. <laughs> well, yeah. they, they're people, you know, I don't just say that I met somebody once and they're my friend so-and-so, you know. Reamer was a friend of mine. Uh, and, and the last time I saw him, he came to New York and he hung out here. But that was several years ago. And I haven't talked to him since. And I really feel bad about that now. I kept always thinking about it, I should call Reamer, you know. He could have called you, but he would have sent you a bill. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Well, he's a lawyer. It's in their DNA, okay? Uh, and so I, uh, I, I don't know how longer, much longer I can keep Phil up there uh, on that bottom <laughs> square, folks. Because Hey, Phil, I got a, two cents for Phil. He was fantastic at the last Dragon House. I mean, he bought everybody lunch and drinks, and uh, he took some dynamite photos, you know, just... Uh, you know, the, the other side of Phil is, is a real gentleman. And, oh, no, uh, he's a very good friend to me. And whenever I need him to test stuff out and whatever, he's always ready and willing to help. And, you know, I mean, what you're seeing in front of you is a result of Phil being able to test it with me, you know. So, <laughs> right. Right. And tell me, folks, this doesn't look the best Gabnet has ever looked. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Should I bring Mary on some more? No, yeah. uh, no, you don't have to do that. But I would like to fill up that blank square down there now, which had Phil in it. Well, if if you don't, where's, do, where's I can always put Phil right back oh, no, in there, oh, folks. Oh, you haven't taken me off uh, yet on my yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, still there. Uh, I, yeah, but you'll you'll be disappearing uh, okay. any moment now, Phil. And I just Ray, put you Ray, back Ray, up again. Ray, Ray Renati has been working his ass off on uh, Mamma Mia, the play he's in. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. know, I'd go there, but it's at City College. It's You know, you risk getting shot, stabbed, uh, beaten, and wrong. <laughs> if, really? If, uh, I, I used to go to City College. Yeah, and it's different now, man. It's in the yeah. 70s. So. It's yeah. like there's a murder every day in San Francisco. Someone just got stabbed. Oh, yeah. That, sorry, that was in my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Somebody oh, just okay. got stabbed. Well, anyway, we have five people. Actually, that would be under normal conditions. I would think of that as a great citizen panel. But what happens is we've created this new dynamic for ourselves, where we really six people, five people doesn't look like a lot, you know. So anyway, yeah. Hey, John, what, what's that machine that you have that shows like the 16 images on one screen? Mm. Or uh, is that it, 16 it, different feeds? No, it's just a monitor, but it's getting, uh, it, you know, feeds from a switcher. And the switcher oh. puts out, uh, you know, that many uh, images. So I don't use all of them. But. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, uh, I said to Alex, you know, uh, what if you could bring in each person's Skype feed individually on a machine like that, and then you could shut them off. But Alex found a way to mute uh, me. <laughs> no, really? Can you demonstrate it, Alex? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. You I'm could, not going to do it. You showed a secret of uh, how I can get back. <laughs> no, I, I don't want to even start doing that because it will cause uh, it will cause problems. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. You know. You know, I think uh, a switcher should be able to inter. I don't know how you do that because the switcher takes a direct feed from a camera, so mm. you would have to have another way of getting everybody's image into the switcher in order to use it on Skype. Yeah, but. yeah. So anyway, I'm trying to see. Make I'm trying to. I found one. One of these squares is a little off, just a tad off. And I'm trying to, I'm trying uh, is to. that uh, John Square is a little low? Yeah, that's why I'm bringing it up. Just, uh, But I it's think. the same, it's on the same level as Charlie's, so you just got to make it bigger. Mm -hmm. Taller. No, yeah. no. No, it's just set to go up a little bit. I got to bring it up. But if up, it goes up, up it, the bottom is straight across from yours. No, hold on a second. I'm just uh, trying to. So the, the vertical number needs to be increased. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I, now, oh, hold on a second. I got to figure something out here for a second. You guys keep talking. Right. Um, uh, here we go. Hey, I picked up a new toy. This thing. Yeah. Oh. See this? Uh, it's nice. a handlebar mount for this. A GoPro? 
Oh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. This is a cool thing. I love all the doodads that GoPro gives mm. you when you yeah. buy their system. Yeah. Yeah. I like the plastic box uh, uh, that it came in. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, this thing has something called hyper smooth or, or hyper uh, steady. And, yeah, uh, Alex has it's one. Like a, it's like a gimbal. You can just walk around with this and, you know, it's like a track shot. It doesn't yeah. uh, vibrate or jump around. Mm -hmm. yeah, Pretty amazing. Alex, Alex was showing us his, the GoPro 7. Yeah. And, oh, you got a 7, Alex? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's the same thing like this. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's but a great little camera. Yeah, you what don't need a you don't need a gimbal anymore. It, it's about four hundred bucks. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, who needs gimbals when you got Macy's? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me yeah. see here. I got. I got. I've, I've got to. Uh, oh, hold on a second. I'll be. I'll be. You keep the guy. Oh God, this thing moved it's again. Close. <laughs> Huh? No. Did you move it? No, I haven't hey, moved it. Hey, has anybody it. seen the new uh, Twilight Zone? Yeah. I, I, I think it. it's going to bomb. I saw it you last know, night. I, I thought it was very good. I the first was one good. was good about the Shamir, the comedian, mm -hmm. who wasn't funny, and then he starts disappearing people. And, but the second one, which was kind of a remake on 30,000 Terror at 30,000 Feet or something, they should have cast William Shatner yeah. in that. You know, that would have been funny. Uh, yeah, but they brought him back for that. Yeah, right. You know, Yeah. but uh, they didn't, so. Yeah, the story kind of sucked. I just finished watching it, you know, just uh, went, after I saw that one, I thought, oh, no, this show's going to bomb. Yeah, well, I, I watched it. I thought it was terrific. You, you liked it? Well, I'll tell you, the cinema and the choices that the directors make and the lighting is very unique. I've never seen that on uh, you know, a show before they use a lot of mood lighting and, uh, you, you know, depth, a lot of depth of field shots where the background's all blurred out and, the, you know, I kind of like that. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, yeah. well, they're probably using a camera like, you know, a lot of times they shoot these things with, uh, uh, uh SLR cameras and, yeah. uh, they're right. able yeah. to use the SLR lenses and then create those effects. Hey, so, you know, the very first motion picture camera I owned was an Aeroflex S. You know, uh, you probably remember those, uh, Alex. Yeah. Uh, they used to use them. The animators liked them because it had pin registration and you could bang off one frame at a time. So a lot of animators used it. But so now I got a thing in my, you know, video Facebook page or whatever uh, that Ari came out with a new mini camera. And I thought, oh, wow, maybe it's affordable, you know. So this little box, it's a, about the same size as a red, you know, a red mm -hmm. cinema camera. Yeah. $60,000, $60,000. bucks. That's mm -hmm. as, I don't think that includes the lens either. It's just this damn little Aeroflex thing. Man. Yeah, they're, they're selling red epics used for like $1,800. Really? Uh, you know, yeah. You know, they're, they're, are they 1080 or 4K? Um, I think they're 4K. Live, really? It, yeah. it eighteen hundred bucks used. You, I saw it on eBay. Uh, See, then you buy a Cook lens, and then you're, uh, you know, spending about as much for a small house in uh, yeah. Modesto. You know. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I'm trying to do something here, so just keep talking. Enjoy yourselves. This will be the last night we'll have to do any of this. But uh, uh, let's see here. Okay. Yeah. Well, it, it's. Hey, there I is a lot. Hmm? There hmm? is a live show going on at Marin Art and Garden every day, every night, 24-7. It's the owl growing box. daisies? Huh? No, owl box. You can see the owls making love and having babies. And, you know. Oh, oh it's, a, it's a cam? Yeah. Owl cam. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Uh, for, uh, the guy that works for me likes to watch the eagle cam. Uh, I don't know what it focuses on it's an eagle's nest and it's really hot oh and, uh, that could be the one down in encinitas or at, um what's that island uh catalina island uh, off yeah maybe yeah uh, there's an eagle's nest there yeah well uh people climb up to this thing and uh you know they they help it out and do and do stuff and oh jeez uh, yeah you know and it's really high uh, wow but yeah yeah, mm. So he, he keeps the eagle cam going. Really? 
Yeah. So it's amazing uh, yeah, the kinds I, I, of things that they have these cams on. It, all over the world, you can see different intersections. Uh, you, you can actually, you know, travel without traveling uh, mm -hmm. by watching some of the different cams that they have on TV. Well, not TV, on the computer. Yeah. Hey. And, and then, uh, then, of course, there's the sex cams. But <laughs> Phil, have you published your um, shark? Uh, uh, underwater shots. Uh, Phil Phil uh, got back from a diving trip where he took some high quality uh, uh, underwater shots with sharks, and it was just fabulous. And I, I put a really few good. on my Facebook page, but um, uh, the, when I was on the trip, I had a laptop with me, and so I did some editing while I was on the trip. But when I went to uh, when I came back. I downloaded all the pictures, and you know, it was 1,500 pictures, and I put them on my Mac Pro, but I haven't edited yeah. much of anything. Well, oh, uh, yeah, you got to do that. You had some anyway, stuff. let me get back to something here, now, now that I've got things fixed here. You fixed it? Yeah. Well, I've, I've, I just adjusted it. it it's, a little, yeah. it's a little hard. I'm going to go back and adjust it later on after the show, but it, nobody notices. The, yeah, it's very close. It, it's you very know, close. I think it's it's uh, I think it's it's about where it's supposed to be, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. I got to. It's got to catch up, but uh, mm -hmm. it's it's. It, I think it's. I think it's perfect. No, oh, really. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here. All okay. right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, most people would never notice the difference. So. Anyway, uh, no. What you were saying was that the the uh, Twilight Zone wasn't very good, and I thought it was very good. I thought it was excellent. I thought. It, Is it black and white? No. No, no, no. Uh, I thought it was very good. I, I thought uh, the story, the one with the comedian, I didn't watch the second one yet. Uh, and I liked it. I thought it was... Uh, oh, yeah, I did too. I, liked I thought it. it was a very yeah. admirable homage to the original and uh, uh, retained the spirit of the original. You know? Yeah, I like the host too. I think he's yeah. doing a good job. I, I think, the well, he's the biggest director in Hollywood right now. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. Yeah. Jordan Peele. Oh, yeah. He's yeah, well, monster. Monster. He's the... Not Nipsey Hussle, huh? Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> um, he's terrific. And and how about Tracy, uh, what's it, Morgan in that thing? He, he, Tracy Morgan, he, the guy who, who played uh, MASH? No, no. No. The comedian, Phil. Boy, oh. are you old-fashioned. <laughs> The comedian. No, it was a good story. I, I, I like the way they made use of that mural at the end of the uh, piece. Well, you don't, know, don't, don't, thinking, don't, wait a minute. You're spoiling it for people. Uh, when I, I, You're spoiling I, uh, was it. thinking of you, Alex. You're spoiling I mean, That was like your You're comedy spoiling story. it. You're spoiling it. That's not right oh, for you, you to do. Oh, uh, a spoiler? Yeah. Well, that's if anybody watches it, you know. Well, if you no, no, I'm just talking about uh, the art in, in the film. You know, it's just it's very arty. You know, it, you could tell that the cinematographers love uh, the visual imagery side of it, and it, yeah. it's unique. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's uh, you're you're not going to see a TV show that's lit or directed. They they do a lot of low shots. You know. Uh, Put, mounting the camera low and like shooting up at the actors yeah. and that's kind of interesting you know I, I, but I think you know you... something nobody goes away saying that was some great photography they go away saying <laughs> I, I either I enjoyed it or I yeah, didn't you know. enjoy it you know yeah. and and the individual pieces of the art you know uh, don't matter to the average person watching it that's true uh, it, it, I, it, I try to imagine the uh, the lighting you know how they lit something uh, you know, not that I can even fathom all the work that they do to, to light a, an area yeah. and, and to get that effect. But, uh, you know, because I, I try to do it with two lights or three. I can't imagine what you do on a, on a movie set. But I, I look and I see the directions of the light, whether they're backlit and they've got hair lights and things like that, just to get an idea of how they did it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. L lighting is such an art in itself, you know. I mean, it's again, like Alex is saying, it's one of those underappreciated things, and not everybody. You know, if you really want to see technique in in a film, just shut the audio off, 
and uh, I know most people don't watch TV that way. I do, because I like to, because that way you focus on camera position, lighting, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the sequence of shots. But as soon as you turn the audio on, you lose all that. You can't focus on on the technique. You know, when I was a, a youngster and smoked pot, I used to watch movies and TV with, yeah. the, with the audio off. You, you smoke <laughs> pot. All, all I'm saying is, is that, that you know, I mean, uh, it's the story and it's the uh, the selling of the story by the actors involved, <coughs> and uh, uh, that's you know that's it, you know. And hey, and who was that black lady that that played the other? Comic I don't know. Comic? I never, I've never saw. I've God, never was she before. good? Man, yeah. she was yeah. hot and uh, just totally into that role. You know, just yeah. great. But anyway, so I just I just wanted to say that I thought it was a, a I I thought it was a good show. I thought it was I think it's going to do okay. And, what it, and it's it on? it's on the CBS, CBS All, Ac all oh, okay. Access All Access, I have that. not CBS yeah. CBS All Access. Yeah, I but have you that. can see the first you can well, see the first episode on YouTube. If yeah, you want that's to see right. It they released it on YouTube. Uh huh. Yeah. Hey, did anybody see uh, Highwaymen with Kevin Costner and Woody? Yes, Harrell? I liked it. Me, yeah, uh, me too. Yeah, you told me about it, and I and yeah. I watched it last night. It was good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Kess, I think uh, it's one of the best performances I've seen Costner do. You know, he's he he kind of really got lost in the role. And, uh, you know, I wish to do a, a a story on Joaquin Jackson, who uh, wrote two books on being a Texas Ranger. Guy just passed away too, uh, you know. But if you read his two books, it's just amazing what the the, uh, the dangers that some of these Texas Rangers mm. put themselves under. Mm. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so uh, let's get back to the border. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think it's build it, that wall. Huh? Build the wall. Well, I, no, I I'd say don't build the wall. <laughs> It'll give them something to camp at, you know. You know, I mean, I Touch think I think that what we're dealing with here is uh, uh, it, 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 he's he's just to begin with. He gave up on on health care today. Did you hear that? He, he tabled it. He no, he tabled it. He, he tabled it. He gave up on it for the time being until 2020. Maybe he wants to use so it after the election. Yeah. Well, because somebody asked the Republicans a very important question. I'll get to you in a second uh, there, Jeff. Uh, I asked a very important question of the Republicans. How come you keep saying you want to replace Obamacare, but you don't come up with anything that you want to replace it with? You know? Yes, Jeff. I heard that a bunch of the Republicans said, will you stop screwing around with that? Yeah, yeah. It's a wow. disaster wow. anyway. Yeah. Or a potential disaster. As far as the wall goes, I got to see. Oh, so I can see my hand. What are who are you, uh, Marcel? Well, Marcel? Uh, what the emergency at at the border? Uh, uh, Obama's. There, there's no uh, emergency at the border, Phil. But go ahead. Well, that, you know that that's because. Have you been to the border? Have you yeah. seen what these uh, ICE agents and uh, even former Obama uh, the head of um, uh, ICE uh, was saying? is that there is an emergency that there's just they're being overwhelmed by the number of people and uh and if they if they release them 97 percent don't show back up uh you know when they claim asylum they're not showing back up so what's happening is they're being overrun they can't uh process the, the these people that's what you hear enough. that's what you've been told by the well, way, folks. Well, by the way, told folks. There's no, there's no emergency I'm gonna, at the border. I'm going to put up one more fill. So that if anybody wants to fill that spot, <laughs> yes. uh, now's the time to do it, folks. Now's the time yeah. to do it. Okay. That 97 percent. That's bullshit. Well, well, that's my dog. <laughs> uh, what, what do you mean that 97 percent is bullshit? 97 percent don't show up. That's ridiculous. Yeah, uh, well, this this is what is being uh, reported by the people that are in the know. No, they're not in the know. No. They're trying to keep their jobs. That's what Fox News they're trying said. to keep hey, their fucking jobs. These are these are people know, who are making. They their... would have their job if there were six people coming across the border. No, they you wouldn't. Know? No, they wouldn't. They they know that if we somehow solve this problem, like said anybody wants to come in can come in. They'd be That's out crazy. of work. A lot of them would be out of work. 
hey, how come when you want to go to Canada, if if you try to bring cigarettes in, they fine you. If you if you go over there and you're not supposed to, uh, you've got a criminal record or something, mm. they'll reject you immediately at the border and they'll fine you. Uh, and, and if you try to uh, get around it, they'll fine you a lot of money, you know, maybe five thousand uh, dollars. Now, why is their border protected, but ours can't be? Hmm. Well, they don't have a wall. They don't. They don't have one. a wall. They got fines. They don't have a wall, and if you want to seek asylum, they're ready to take you. And, and do you know how many? Wait billions a minute! You just dollars? glossed over that, Phil. You just glossed over. No, they're not over. ready to take you. If you have a criminal record, you don't get in there. Well, if you have a criminal record, well, uh, um, Trump is saying the same thing. Well, if but no, he's no, no, record, he's saying be able he's to saying vent, these uh, some of some of these people are criminals, but he can't say. Jose is a criminal, but Juan isn't. That's because Juan and Jose are using the same social security number, which doesn't exist. No, anyway. gee, you don't get what I'm Belongs saying, Phil. Phil, 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 you're trying to. You, you, it, rather than argue, you divert the whole question. No, hey, Juan and Jose both applied for installer jobs at my shop. Yeah, okay, and if, yeah, and if yeah. If you have right, them fill out the right. thing, they all have the same social all, security. All number. I'm all I'm saying, Phil, is that. Um, uh, if you're if you want asylum in Canada and you're not uh, uh, you know a, a, a wanton criminal, you can get asylum. You can get that here. No, you can't. All all they want to do is be able to vet them. Obviously, all but we do all we do is complain people. about how there are too many people trying to go for. Uh, uh, yeah, it's because they're gaming the system, Alex. They're 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 using this uh, asylum thing when they really only want the benefits of. Oh, uh, thank God! Uh, economic benefits of being thank, in America. Thank God we got Kevin Stopper <laughs> calling. <laughs> all right. So that will uh, that will uh, take care. Hey, Let's see Phil here. Where is he? There he is. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's, uh, there's okay. one. Wait a minute. There we go. There's yeah, Kevin there's, Stopper, there's, uh, ladies and you, gentlemen. You can put me in one other position if you change up the uh, uh, no, screen. I mean, no, I won't, I won't go to the eight until there are eight. By the way, in case people want to see what eight looks like, uh, eight looks like uh, like this. Okay, that's how eight looks. Although yeah. I could leave it like this, you know. Right now, this is six, six plus you. Yeah, uh, and I just went to the eight configuration. I can oh, actually okay. fit eight people in there. In the one that they're I'm they're watching. That. Well, what you, happens is well, your, it will, your if if you will. wait, it will happen on YouTube. It doesn't happen immediately on YouTube. Oh, okay. it's on YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, just, it is. Yeah, you got it. Oh you gotta, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There no, we I'm go. I'm still seeing seven on YouTube. See, that's the well, that's the eight configuration. Oh, and by the way, if you want to really go sexy here. Uh, we can <laughs> always go to the, uh, well, the, the this was the one, you, you won't have that many people in there, but you'll have me in one of the squares there, but that's the way the uh, 12 configuration looks. But let's mm. go back to the uh, 8 configuration, uh, the 6 configuration, so we can, because that's really sexy. Oh, yeah. You just, uh, yeah, Kevin just popped up on my YouTube. Yeah. I didn't have this one the other day when we were working on this film. Hello, no. Kevin. How are you doing? All right, how you doing, Al? How you feeling? How's the uh, how's the uh, pain uh, uh, radar or whatever that thing is they put in your back doing yeah, for you? It's coming along. We keep messing with programs. I'm on about the uh, fifth setting, uh, fourth setting now. Going to switch it over tonight and see what happens. Now, how do they switch it? Do they do they actually program got, it? Yeah, hmm? they've got all kinds of programs in there already. Where's your remote control? Do you have your remote control for it? Yeah. It's right here. Uh, no, it that's is. the TV one. <laughs> Kevin has uh, been having a great amount of pain because of his feet and his legs. That's a different so, color. See, it's this thing here. But it's that, and not only is it, uh, it also changes channels, doesn't it? No, that, yeah, it changes different. See, it's got different lights and stuff on it. Oh, wow. Uh, it's on program one with four lights now. Yeah. I used to go to a store in the mall that would sell these chairs that had a similar remote control. That would yeah, massage like that. Yeah. yeah. I got I got my airport card in the mail today, so now I got a card that lets me get through the, the plate, you know, the, the detectors at the airport and all that crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? They see, think you're concealing it's not something? A bomb. It's not a bomb. 
So they think you're concealing something if they put you through the x-ray? you got to realize, folks who listen to this program, that uh, a great deal of our people on this program uh, have medical conditions. It's <laughs> almost a requirement. It's almost a requirement for being on the Alta Caca Citizens Panel. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff's got a, uh, a pacemaker. It's like it's like RoboCop here. Uh, uh, Kevin Stopper has this thing in his back that does away with the pain as soon as he turns it up to high. Um, uh, uh, Actually, low. <laughs> uh, Phil's working without a prostate. Okay, uh, I'm the only one. I have some neuropathy, and I may have prostate cancer, but the good kind. So, but uh, but we don't know that. So really. For all my complaining about my health, I'm probably one of the, well, Perulis doesn't seem to have any. Do you have any problems, Perulis? No, I don't. You see? I'm in good shape. Yeah, yeah. okay. So, yeah. What, what was that? Was that? That was a form of this. No, no, no. I, <laughs> I, I screwed up my screen. I can't see myself, so I don't know what I'm doing. I was just trying to go like this. Oh, no, I see. Are you in a bubble? Maybe you got to drag yourself down if you can't see it. No, yeah. I, I hit some button and I see people. There are bubbles. There are bubbles. I like, I, like Charlie <laughs> Wallace is in one of my bubbles. Let me. However, I want to. I want to. Let, let's talk for a second to uh, uh, to, to uh, Josh here. Josh, you've been following the news, I imagine, right? Because you're kind of you're a news junkie. What do you? Yeah, we were listening as we were uh, driving back and forth. Huh. Yeah, we were listening to it as we were driving back and forth on our trip, so I I got a fair amount today for sure. Yeah, what did you what 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 uh, what do you listen to? In other words, what's your channel of preference? Uh, I bounce around a little bit when we're driving between you know obviously I still have Sirius Satellite, so you know I can get CNN and MSNBC. Uh, I listen to some of the POTUS channel today, which is I think. Michael Smirkanish was on there, and I listened to Tom Hartman for about a half hour, uh, and then I bounced around to some of my other sports stuff I listened to. So I got, I got a variety of the news today. There's a couple couple stories going on. There's now, now one you, interesting. Let me one. let me let me ask you: Do you listen? Do you listen to the? Uh, uh, do you ever like listen to the right wing stations to see what they're saying, or do you just feel that's useless for you? Gets enough of that from me. I mean, I do occasionally. Um, I turn them on for maybe five minutes or whatever, and uh, you know, sometimes it's just amazing. I've just always noticed with those stations, it's like uh, they always seem really angry, and like the world is, you know, pretty much about to end. Yeah. And if you don't do exactly what they say immediately, you know, yeah. the clock is ticking. I don't know. They just always seem, you know, really angry, which is kind of how Trump played into their whole deal. I, I, I That was kind of what bothered me about him right after the inauguration yeah. was everyone in his administration that you would see on TV every day, they always just seem so angry. You know, that Stephen Miller guy and Kellyanne Conway. I mean, everyone was just, you know, it was just like, man, I know we have problems, but can you not just maybe not sound like you're just so devastated every day? Right. Phil's got his hand up. It, uh, I understand what he's saying. I don't perceive it as angry, but what I wanted to say was that uh, a Chinese national got into Mar-a-Lago today, had a thumb drive with um, <laughs> malware on it, several cell phones, a computer, said that she was there for an event that wasn't there, and uh, uh, she got through the first phase of uh, security uh, which was just, you know, do you have a bomb kind of security. She had clearance. Uh, she, didn't, she didn't have clearance. She had clearance, but not clearance. <laughs> and uh, so uh, it, it, it's very interesting that this Chinese national with two different passports on mm -hmm. her, I think it's a spy. And uh, and it was, uh, you I know, I think it Trump gave today. her clearance a long time ago. He just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, one of the people he no, gave that was that other to. gal that's uh, the whistleblower. It doesn't matter. He gave it to her just willy nilly. Yeah. Uh, even the whistleblower <laughs> said that Trump didn't interfere with the clearance stuff. I, I, you, because he's you too know, lazy to interfere with anything. <laughs> on, on that note, you know, I, I found myself watching Fox a lot just because of the fucking entertainment. It's entertainment at this point well, because yeah. MSNBC has gotten so fucking boring. Yes, absolutely. And, and, and I just go to Fox to watch 
the other side. And you, I, and you know I what? Just I sit here it, and I laugh at it. And I, I, I let and let, I, let's be honest about it, Kevin. You really go over there for the boner. That's true. The, uh, <laughs> nine o'clock. Nine o'clock is the couch. It's all about the couch. And then the nine o'clock. It's a noon here. Yes, the three yeah. women, four women on a couch. Dana. Yeah. Hey, will that little remote control work on the boner too? <laughs> no, <laughs> Phil. There's no no <laughs> Phil. There's no hope for you. Okay. <laughs> there's probably a program in there. I'll find it. All right. <laughs> I'll let you know what I do. Yeah. 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 Um, but, you know, it's just been so entertainment, entertaining to watch and, and the, the the demented minds and how, you know, they'll have <laughs> one Democrat on there, one slightly left person on there, and yeah. they just pile on. Ron they, Williams? You know, they don't let them talk. They don't, you know, they say, well, what do you think about you know this and, and as soon as they start to ask, answer oh, the question no come on kevin all it's, over them. i just saw a thing on shit. youtube i saw a thing on youtube with ben shit. shapiro like Bill talks all over everybody else here yeah it's ridiculous <laughs> well kevin there was a guy ben shapiro had a uh, was on youtube and had a um debate who's ben with, shapiro uh, uh, ben shapiro is a uh, right wing jewish uh, uh pundit and, uh, well, that would be he, interesting. You said he was right wing. We knew that. And with a name yeah. like Shapiro, we know he's got to be Jewish. So what are you <laughs> yeah. telling us? I said, who is he? What is what are his credentials? Well, uh, he has a, a, a talk show, but he's he's a very good debater. And matter of fact, he um, he uh, was at uh, Cal Berkeley, and there was a lot of protests. Um, he's he's the Jewish version of that uh, gay guy. With the funny name that is the right wing. He's a guy. Jewish version of Adolf Hitler. Okay. No, 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 no. He's he's a very he's an intelligent guy. He debates. He never loses his cool, and uh, and where's a yarmulke? But uh, anyway, this guy Ben Shapiro was on a show that was similar to The View, and they were all talking over him. It was it was they were ganging up on him, but he handles himself really well. And you know, the, their their uh, way of dealing with him or anyone else mm -hmm. is to call him a bigot or to call him a, a you know a, a, some sort of name. Yeah. Uh, matter of fact, when you listen to the left wing shows, all they say is that Trump is an idiot. Trump is a moron. I've decided that uh, that Trump should be called a poo poo head because that really <laughs> tells you uh, what's wrong with Trump. Trump's a poo poo head. It's not that Trump is doing something that's bad. It's not that Trump is doing something uh, that you don't like and you can uh, have an argument against it. He's a poo poo head. You by, know? by the way, by the way, you know what I can do? <laughs> that, that, that is the yeah. left's logic for combating yeah. Trump. There are you know what all I can... kinds of examples of bad things that Trump does. Yeah, I haven't seen any. Uh, uh, by the and, way, and Joe what, what Biden, he, he your, your buddy Joe Biden, he's George. grabbing him by the pussy. You know? No, no, no. He's grabbing him by the hair. Joe's Joe's well, a hair. First well, to begin with, hair. wait a minute. To begin oh, with, to begin with, the guy this, in woman, North this woman, likes to take this woman, this woman, this woman who has been accusing him, he's mm -hmm. she's accusing him of. Well, he didn't do anything. Uh, in, she was uncomfortable. Uh, she was uncomfortable. Well, uh, yeah. listen, I'm uncomfortable with uh, with Trump. Okay, but that doesn't mean he molested me. All right. You know, okay. I I just found that that was didn't you, Josh? Didn't you? Did well, you hear Joe about Biden that woman? Joe Biden tried to grab me by the pussy. No, <laughs> he didn't try to get grab anybody by the pussy. He, I think he. They said he uh, he rubbed her neck or something because she yeah. was neat. She needed. And then some, you obviously there. haven't seen all the videos on There's online of, of Joe getting real close to little girls and you know and they're pulling them. away and they're He's pulling away. He's a snuggly guy. Oh yeah, he is a like, fucking Trump. Creepo, well, wait, 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 what, 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 what happened? What happened? Tell me, tell me, what happened <laughs> to the day when you could be a little touchy feely and be a little warm and hug somebody? Not like Joe, man, not like that. Well, listen, it, it, it I'm, I, 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 I think Joe should give up on running. To be honest with you, I think, I think he's, he's I think he's going to have to. No, I don't think he's, he's going to have to. Into so much shit, he's going to run. In, it, it, does he really oh. need it? Yeah, can you imagine Trump yeah. and and Joe in a debate? Trump will tear the shit out of that. No, guy. no, but what do he you know? Does he say? Does he say? Do I really need this shit? You know exactly. 
Exactly. He's just that's what go, they do to the Democrats. Uh, like, uh, who's the comedian from Saturday Night Live uh, uh, that um, your friend uh, in New York got rid of? Huh? Alec Baldwin? No, no. It's uh, the one that was Al a senator. Franken? Al Franken. You know, yeah. uh, he said, I don't need this shit. Joe Biden will say, I don't need this shit. Eventually, they're going to put Joe the bartender up against uh, Trump. That, that's all yeah. he left. Yeah. But yeah. You know, he's the only one that doesn't even know hey, if he's got anything. Maybe that's a well, good idea. I, I, I think this, <laughs> it, you know, this Me Too shit has got to stop because the whole thing with, with Biden, with the woman who's accusing him, I watched it, her and it, I just went, what? what? How are ridiculous. you hurt? I mean, have you been marked for life? You know? <laughs> okay, Alex, similar. you gotta you got to be honest. If we had Star Trek technology and a hollow deck, what do you think goddamn Joe would be doing in the hollow deck? <laughs> what? I don't know what no, he'd be doing in the hollow like deck. What are you Kavanaugh implying, thing. John? This is just like the Kavanaugh thing, except no. the Democrats are eating their own. No. It's, yeah, it, you got no, a woman that's, that close. that is that is worked in a rape crisis clinic, and she believes that the uh, a guy in uh, North Carolina, the lieutenant governor, put his hand behind her neck, and she mm. couldn't move her neck, and all of a sudden she was gagging because she was down on the guy, you know. Uh, but they were That's kissing in the bed consensually the in his hotel room. Well, I'm, uh, none of this luck. stuff, you know, I mean, all I'm saying about the Biden thing is I listened to this woman and I went, hey, lady, come on. Yes. You know, I mean, why don't you save this for people who get raped? OK, why don't you yeah. save this yeah. for people who are truly molested and are truly grabbed by their pussy by Donald Trump? OK, yeah. I think yeah. that, that to accuse Biden of this is you're just trying to get publicity and you're probably sent in there by some opposition to try and she's discredit a, him. She she's a big Bernie supporter. Well, uh, that, that, that OK, I saying. make my case. You know, yeah, that's but it. you know, I, do you think that Bernie Sanders would go to that extent to try to bump? I off think of Bernie Biden? Sanders no. would go. Think to, I think Bush? I think Bernie Sanders would go to any extent to win. Really? Yes, I do. Uh, I I don't think that just because Bernie gives a good speech about being as and being and as a socialist, that Bernie is necessarily a completely ethical person. In fact, well, I, we know he's not. I know liberals. I know I know diehard liberals up in Vermont. Who hate his guts, okay? So uh, you know, I don't think Bernie should be giving it a go. I think it's a little late. Well, you're you're a big Bernie fan, aren't you, Charlie? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I just think Bernie's too old, to be honest with you, and so's Biden. Yeah. You know, I'd like to see a nice, hardcore liberal with the same nasty attitude that Trump has go at him. I would like one like that with big tits. How's that? Yeah, <laughs> you know, it, 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 just go it, hard, not bad. hard on Trump. This this is so I can break into the Bernie, right in uh, the the Bernie uh, conferences and then uh, make trouble. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, uh, but the, the the Democrats are too they're too. Um, Hoity-toity for that. Boy, they, won't, they won't do it, and that's what bothers me. There are some people... Uh, uh, they only beat up other Democrats. Oh, no, no. They'll, they'll come out of the woodwork like Blasey Ford and the, you know, the rest of them. Yeah. It, this is yeah. no different. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Well, uh, I... I, I uh, well, it, it, this is not like Blasey Ford. Blasey uh, Ford, I think... She really was a I, I think, I think... And, and probably... Trump is other, such you know, easy bait... This one in South States. Carolina uh, that, that is complaining out against the lieutenant governor uh, was probably attacked too, you know. But uh, you know, when no, the, maybe she, she didn't say no because uh, she was choking on his large member, you know. In case you just joined us, folks, uh, welcome to our brand new looking Gabnet panel, uh, and uh, up up at the top there. Uh, you've got Josh Wheeler, and going down beneath him is Charlie um, um, Wallace. <laughs> Wallace. Uh, Jeff Stein is below him. Uh, uh, there's, of course, Phil Meyer over on the right-hand top side. And then there's John Perulis, and right below him is uh, is Kevin Stopper. So I just want see. I can do that now. 
as long as I can remember your fucking names. Yeah, he, he's know. doing that so he can remember our names. Well, I know I'm <laughs> I'm getting all, I, I'm getting the point. I never had I never had an easy time remembering names anyway. Okay, mm -hmm. ever. But now that I'm getting older, it's getting impossible. It's now you know. Wasn't he the guy that was in that thing? <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, no, I, I've always butchered names because I can't remember them. So you know. The only thing I haven't done is say, hey, chief. <laughs> I, I, you know, Kevin was saying how tired he was getting of, uh, of, uh, of uh, what do you call it, uh, MSNBC. And I kind of agree with you. I think that it's, 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 it's too predictable. You know, I, I would like to hear just a little bit of condescension, you know, uh, 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 somebody challenging their opinion on those shows. Well, but Rachel Maddow, she's still you know she's in outer space you know she's in the space time continuum she still thinks it's a conspiracy yeah. well i think i think a lot of it is i think that uh, uh we i i think that the uh, attorney general should release the whole report you know to the I congress and let the they Cong will and let the congress decide what needs to be redacted let well, them see it unredacted uh, there are certain laws that they have to follow. Well, and no, the that, that's what the, just that's what this the that's what this attorney general is saying. Well, that, that's why he's the attorney general. That's his opinion. His opinion also a few months ago when he was trying to get the job was to write a huge report that the, was given to the president, which I'm sure he had read to him, and then they drew pictures to tell him what was said in 2025. Uh, oh, wait, wait a minute. He said he said that the president. Uh, could do no wrong, basically. The president, am I right about this, Josh? No, he <laughs> said that the president couldn't be prosecuted uh, while in office. And, uh, uh, you know, I guess they I don't can think be that's exactly what he, I don't think that's exactly what he said. He said a president cannot, uh, cannot uh, call, uh, commit any crimes, basically. If, if, uh, they can commit okay, them, but shut I don't up, think Phil. they shut can up, Shut up them. a second. Josh, do you know what he said? Do you remember what he said? Uh, that's that but William Barr, the, the yeah. AG. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's basically his his belief. I mean, he wrote that memo, basically stating that when he was kind of auditioning for the job to be Attorney General. I mean, that's kind of how he got the job. I mean, if you ask me, it's by pretty much writing this memo and putting it out there for the world to see, knowing that it would get to Trump, stating that you know he's in the camp of people that. Uh, yeah, believes you know the, uh, the president can't be indicted. Uh, impeachment's your only form of recourse. You know, Kavanaugh executive privilege has broad power. You know that kind of stuff. I mean, he's a pretty pro executive branch guy, so there there's no doubt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it, well, Kavanaugh had the same uh, opinion, right? He had written a uh, uh, a paper yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, saying the same. Yeah, thing. yeah. Kavanaugh's definitely a. Uh, a pro executive power type of guy, which I've talked about down here before, is why well, wasn't, I wasn't wasn't really wasn't the Constitution written to kind of uh, with things like emolument clauses and so on to prevent that sort of thing? I mean, didn't they want sure, to make have, sure that the, checks. that the president was always kept in check and that he had yeah, to we answer? We have many things? checks and many balances, but you know, I mean. But we err in our ways. I mean, we're all human beings, and there's 300 million of us, and everyone sees things differently. So uh, it changes with the times, you know, depending on what's going on and, and how uh, people see it, the makeup of the court. Um, national emergencies tend to change things. Uh, you know, as circumstances change, people's opinions change. Yeah. And so it, it evolves over time. Yeah. And we're kind of in a bad way right now, I think. Right. Yeah, right. he's a poo poo head. He's, if you want to say that, yes, you can say that. Yeah. A doo doo brain. Oh yeah, that's a good one. You know, that that really goes to the point. Yeah, yeah. and his father was uh, born in Germany. Ah, oh, that's him. Concentration camp Trump. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. He went on this big spiel today for like three minutes about how his father was born in Germany and is from yeah. Germany and. Oh, he's a very nice place where he was born, and everyone was like, "Your dad was born in the Bronx, New York." Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. he's a he's first just, generation American. You know, he, he came get, over the wall. He wanted to get back to the oranges of things. Yeah, he's uh. What the hell was that? What? What? 
What? What do you mean, Charlie? What? Well, he said. He said today that he wanted to get back to oh. the oranges of things. The what? Origin. Origin. Orange. Oranges of things. <laughs> the oranges of things. <laughs> what the fuck is oranges? Well, you know, his family came from Germany, and they were the Drumpfs. And I believe the Drumpfs made their original money in Alaska. Uh, by opening up hotels or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. And then eventually moving to New York, where the father, of course, then took what small fortune grand, great-granddad Trump, uh, Trump had done, trained, changed the name to Trump, uh, and uh, 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 made his fortune, which he then uh, passed on to uh, uh, little Donnie. Donnie, Boy. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's, oh. a, that's a history of that family. But they, yes, they are from Germany. They are immigrants. Hey, yeah, but Alex? What, wait, wait, was, wait, wasn't wait. your father German? Yep. All right. So actually, you and Trump wasn't. have a lot in common. Actually, I think he wasn't born in Germany. I think he was actually born in Poland, if I'm not mistaken. Who's uh, that? And my, my father. And oh. then he moved to Germany. And in fact, there is a picture of World War II coming to an end, and the crowds at the Brandenburg Gate... Uh, celebrating the end of the war, and my was father. The Brandenburg and, Gate and, you, let me finish what I'm saying. Let I me think finish. you're inaccurate, huh? I, I'm wondering if you're inaccurate. I thought the Brandenburg Gate was created after uh, the Soviets took over East no, Berlin. No, 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 it was there long before that, Phil. Oh, uh, anyway, Who put he, up the wall. Can I finish what Soviet? I was saying, Phil? Right. You, you didn't won't let know. me finish. You interrupt whatever I say. Uh, with something you think is more important, and it isn't. You could have asked me, was there, wasn't there, was there a Brandenburg Gate earlier or whatever later on? But the point is, was supposedly there? my father saw a photograph of all the crowds at the Brandenburg Gate at the end of World War II, and he could point himself in the crowd. He saw really? himself in the crowd, yeah. yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Well, I, I I just thought that the that the Berlin Wall was built by the Russians. It, it, I didn't know it. it, it no, was it was there never before. built by the Russians, Phil. Well, why did they tear it down? They didn't tear the Brandenburg Gate down. They tore down the wall. The Berlin, well, isn't that the gate? That no, got you past? no. That into was Ber that was East that Berlin? was the that was the separation between East and West Germany. But they built the wall up to it. The fact yeah. is, the Brandenburg Gate was always there, Phil. So the uh, oh, okay. So the the wall and the gate is two different things. Uh, yes, so, Phil. Yes. Okay. Well, then you know. Let's see here. Brandenburg Trump's Gate. Wall gate. Brandenburg have a Brandenburg Gate. <laughs> gate. Yeah. Okay. Is that right? Brandenburg when, when Gate. Was it, uh, uh, Brandenburg Gate. Wikipedia. Uh, it was built uh, in, uh, let's see here. Construction started. Yeah. When do you think, Phil? Probably 1865. Well, let's say when was it completed? Uh, 1942. I want to show you how far <laughs> off you were, Phil. All right, you tell me. Brandenburg Gate was finished and erect and ready to go, unlike you, who's never erect now, uh, <laughs> in 1791. <laughs> Wow! So you were a right. little, you were a little off, Phil. Just a little well, off. Just I, tad. I was thinking Just that the tad. wall and the Brandenburg Gate was all part of the same thing. No. Uh, and and you know when you went into no. East 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 Berlin. And you know why you believe that, Phil? Because you're a moron. Okay. No, no. Poo poo head. Poo poo uh, head. Please. Uh, <laughs> you know. Uh, you know. Uh, you you call Trump a moron. I. I'm a poo -poo. Yeah. Now, oh, by I, the way, you know, by the way, I you know, I was the wall mm -hmm. wasn't built until the Soviets uh, took uh, partitioned East and West Germany. Do you know how I told, said earlier that uh, Steven Spielberg was a big piece of shit because of his opinion about Netflix? Well, I have to put in the same category Heron, Helen Mirren. <laughs> uh, yeah. She was talking about her latest picture, and uh, she says, "I love Netflix." Netflix. But fuck Netflix, <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Uh, she, uh, but she didn't. Uh, she didn't um, elaborate on what she meant. But she said she loved Netflix. But fuck Netflix, basically. So. Yeah. 
Maybe they canceled a show she really liked or something. Uh, but, no, I doubt it. They don't cancel anything. In fact, the trouble is they got too much on Netflix. Well, it's, well I don't know. They sometimes, I don't know. They start shows sometimes and don't don't bring them back all the time or whatever. Like, I watched that, that fucking Marco Polo or whatever they had yeah. on, and it went two seasons, and then all of a sudden they didn't do it anymore. I mean, they sometimes do that, I guess. Well, you know, I think they're in the same business as, as any of the networks, only they have one advantage the networks don't have. The networks have to rely on ratings, which are oh. specious at best because it's an elaboration of a handful of people into what a whole nation is watching or a whole market is watching, whereas Netflix knows exactly to the person how many people watched a movie or a yeah. series, yeah. or whatever. You know, I, I had a people meter for a couple of years. Well, that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Well, me. it has to do with how, no, how no, they get no, the no, ratings. Well, but you're backtracking. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the fact that Netflix is completely, um, um, uh, uh, has nosed down to the last person how many people are, listen, are watching a show. So if Marco Polo didn't have the kind of numbers that translated into the kind of money they were spending on it, then they just don't continue with it. How, now, how do they know that when one subscription has 300 hey, people I, using I can, it? I can tell you how many... <laughs> you know, it, no, it, it, you know it, it, no, it how many streams are going out? How many streams are being used? Yeah. And the fact is, I can tell you now to the person, how many are watching me right now do this little yeah. show on YouTube? And it's three. So, uh, <laughs> but no, but I can do that. I can do that with the audio, you know, and I can 30. do that at any time during the day. In other words, 30. we, we get, and now there are questions about some of the, some of the statistics, but the fact is that when you have somebody like Netflix, <clears throat> they're just like a network. The only difference is they're not relying on advertising. They're relying on subscriptions. And if they figure they're paying you know, $300 million to do something like Marco Polo, and they're not getting the kind of amount of people watching that that watch the Nancy Drew mystery, then guess which is going to stay on and which is going to be taken but off. But, Alex, I, when I was wearing my people meter, if I was watching Netflix, wouldn't that have registered? No. Because, what, they don't put out the signal? That, I don't know uh, that they do or they don't. I would have to check in. I would imagine that. they would. Uh, well, not, nece a, not necessarily. On a, uh, not necessarily. On a podcast. But all, and Netflix never, ever, ever says how well a show is doing or not doing. They know, but they don't say. Uh, yeah. And they say it's just they're not. Gonna they, give us, huh? Are they going to give us another season of Kaminsky? Oh, I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure. I'm sure that got a nice viewership, and I'm yeah. sure that it did well. And it's not an expensive show to produce. Hey, that's a that's a that's a that's a given. Mm -hmm. uh, but when you've got a big show with big budgets, big huge budgets, uh, the question is: Are are they going to renew that? Marco Polo had a large budget, really large budget. So if it wasn't getting the kind of numbers they felt it should get, they weren't going to continue with it. We got two two whole seasons of that, and it's a right. lush, beautiful show. You know. I loved it, actually. Yeah, I did too. It's, but sometimes they just, you know, they stop stuff out of the blue. I mean, the, the other networks do the same thing. I almost don't even hardly watch anything new anymore until it's been on for a while because that's I'm always afraid that that's, you know, that's what will happen is you'll start watching it, and then I like it, but, you know, not enough people or whatever, and then it just goes away. And it's like, you know, I, I never quite got over fucking lost, you know, fucking me out of my six or seven years of my life. So it's like... You know, now I'm I'm gun shy ever since then to watch shows. I guess. Yeah. When it well, how, how many seasons do you think that they should give us? You know, six or seven isn't enough. You know, you well, gotta have thirteen. No, I think I, I, I there are very few series that last thirteen years. Phil, even even Big Bang Theory, I think is in its twelfth and it's going off this year. Hey, Doctor Who. Well, Doctor Who's a different kind of situation to begin with. You have to separate it because there was a ten a ten to fifteen year lapse between the old series and the newer ones. And uh, it was a very cheaply produced show originally for the BBC. Uh, so, I mean, you can't, you, you, you just can't use that as an example. It's a different situation. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, all, all these shows are like that anymore. There's, it's so, I mean, even on the networks, it's, they're so, they can just go away with, like, almost, you know, no notice, it seems like. Like, 
things happen. And, you know, someone says the wrong thing. Oh, they're off the show, you know, or uh, Shameless was on and then Emmy Rossum isn't happy with her check. And I'm not saying she was wrong or anything. You know, and then maybe it's going to go away, yeah, and now that, maybe that, it's not. I just fucking hate the been You know, there's an English no. Shameless with the same names? Yeah. 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 I, I uh, saw one episode or two episodes, uh, and uh, it, was, it was interesting. You know, you're seeing the same people, it's gotta same be, names. It's got to be interesting because it's the original, which is probably in many ways better, you know, yeah. than, than this one. I, I can't watch this one. But anyway, the point is that, uh, yeah, they, they sometimes shows do not last. You know, right. and and uh, uh, the networks are very capricious with that. Ser ser shows will be knocked off after 13 weeks, you know. Now, the, mm. the network that seems to hold on to shows long beyond their expiration point Showtime. is, no, CW. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, but they've got Supergirl and they got uh, Arrow and they got <coughs> Legends of Tomorrow and they got... In fact, the largest producer, and who do you think the largest producer is in television? Um, bet, television? Bet if I said his name, you wouldn't even know the name. No, his, name is, his name is Greg Berlanti. And Shecky mm -hmm. and I were ticking off all the shows that he has on the networks or on the streaming services or on uh, any number of, of outlets. He has something. But he's like the Norman Lear. 13 today? shows on the air right now. Mm -hmm. mm. He's got. He's never, the guy that does arrows. Never heard of the guy. Arrow, Superman, uh, Supergirl, rather, uh, 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 the Flash, uh, DC's uh, Legends of Tomorrow. Uh, he does Riverdale. He does. He, you go over to uh, the DC thing. He does Titans. He does uh, uh, Doom Patrol. I mean, I could go on and on. This guy. Every time I turn around, he, he's directing a movie, and he's producing another show on CBS this year coming up i mean it's just one thing after he's a, he's a most he's literally the most prolific producer in television now i know why i never heard of him i never watched any of those oh things. some of those shows the shows he does very good you know he does yeah. a good job i mean um uh, doom patrol uh, which is on dc you have to subscribe to dc for that is terrific it is an incredible show uh and uh Oh, he also did. Uh, he also did the. Um, uh, who was that? The. the uh, oh, the. There's the. the uh, on uh, Netflix, there was the show about the girl who's like a reporter or something. Kay Keen or. Oh, I'm trying to remember the name. Oh. Well, anyway, he's got another couple of shows on on Netflix. I mean, <laughs> the guy is just. Uh, he's 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 a, he's a machine. On Netflix, unless it says recommended for Phil, I, I don't watch it. Yeah, you know, well, I, 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 <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't watch any shows really anymore that are on the uh, non-cable networks, like you know NBC. I don't. They don't do anything anymore that's that's interesting. I mean, I I just I don't like any of it. I yeah. mean, the only thing that still gets watched is my wife and I watch it with her. She still watches that Grey's Anatomy after like. 300 years you know but yeah. i mean that's pretty much that's pretty much the only non uh cable network show that we even watch i, well, I, only I, watch, I watch i watch i arrow and i watch supergirl and i watch dc's legends of tomorrow and i watch uh riverdale right. and i watch i watch all those berlanti shows they're really but, it, some of them gotten a little soft but uh, the flash there's five of them right there for all berlanti but uh, if if supergirl and I've never seen it, but if you could get it moved to HBO, then we could see Supergirl naked, and people could say the word fuck. And those are both necessary for me to watch a television program. Well, what's funny What's funny is on, on Doom Patrol, which is another Berlanti show, when he's not on a regular television network, the, the word fuck is the most used word on that show. Brendan Fraser plays a guy in an iron suit. And he call, he's, he, what the fuck? He's constantly going, what the fuck? You know. This is George of the Jungle? What? Yeah. 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 Last time I saw you, him in something. You should see how he's gained weight. He's blimped out a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. Ma it makes most of us feel good about ourselves now. You know, <laughs> if that happened to Brendan Fraser, God, you know. Uh, so. You well, know. he had the body type for 
doing that. You know, he's not a thin bone guy. You know. Yeah, but now they just put him in an iron suit and say "fuck you." You know. <laughs> we, so well, well, we only have what? We have less than two weeks before Game of Thrones comes back on yep, now. Yep, yep, yeah, that's the big one. Yeah. Never saw it. I, I, I think, never I, watched a single episode. Well, we we used to call Game of What the Fuck's Going On. Uh, and then we what we did is we started with episode one and we watched the whole thing, and now we know what's going on. Uh, yeah. But uh, you almost have to watch it and then maybe go back and rewatch. I think because there there yeah. it, there's a lot. I think there are I think there are only five or six episodes, uh, and uh, of those five or six episodes. I think they're all about an hour and a half each. They're going to be long. Uh, the last season. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, some of them are supposed to perhaps be even longer than that. Instead of six episodes, they said it's almost going to be like six movies. Yeah. And and the budget for I guess the six episodes was almost like doing six movies. You know, movies. Well, I mean, it's yeah. Very I mean, going to be shit. similar to that Woody Allen thing that. Uh, huh? uh, that that Woody Allen thing. I think it was six episodes. What does that you have know. to Woody Allen? They produce those yeah. for, on a shoestring compared to what's Game of Thrones. Come on. Yeah. I think one tenth of one episode of the Woody Allen series amounted to two minutes on a Game of Thrones episode in budget. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that's the thing with HBO. I mean, they, <laughs> their stuff tends to be really, really expensive. I mean, well, you know, they so, like the, so, the last big miniseries that they did. Uh, with Tom Hanks, you know, that the Pacific was made like, I don't want to say like eight or nine years ago, like 2008, 2000, well, maybe 10 years ago. And at that time they spent like, it was like, it was over $200 million. I mean, which is a shit ton of money. Well, also they, they, they feel that when they do something like that, what they're doing is they're making an investment in just the whole library that you have available to you. Like I can go watch, the Pacific, if I want to right now. Right. And in fact, you can even watch me introducing episodes of comedy to, uh, excuse me, of uh, One Night Stand on HBO that I did, God, what, 25 years ago, something like that? You it's know, good like, stuff. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, you know, I had my, uh, my uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you know, I get residuals on that, by the way, still to this day. That's the one thing. The one thing that keeps on giving are residuals. You know, it, <laughs> hey, it, it just happens. Uh, yeah. Did you hear anything more on the Mick Jagger heart? Uh, yeah, I deal? had an item on him here. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'll give it to you quickly because I got to go into theme here. Um, uh, he has to have heart surgery, but they say it can be taken care of. So. Anyway. Oh. Uh, open heart or just uh, yeah, an angioplasty? Uh, no, like hold I... on a second. Uh, we may they go said on... to be back on tour in June. Said uh, health uh, issue. Uh, 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 the source close to Van St. Jaggers is set to undergo heart surgery this week to replace a, heart, a valve in his heart. Oh. Well, so maybe, it's a valve. Uh, it's talking a... about residuals, Jeff will get one. It's a valve replacement. <laughs> okay. You yeah, know. well, that's what Jeff did. Oh, did right, Jeff did. Right. Uh, oh, heart valves. I see. I get, I get the joke, uh, Phil. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, well, that's our theme playing in oh, the background. Jeff wanted to say something. What? Jeff wanted to say something. Yeah, that's right. What, what talk Jeff? About, talk about valves. Oh, well, we'll talk about that tomorrow night, okay? You can tell tomorrow us. Tomorrow is Phil Free. Oh, good. That means <laughs> that one of these, uh, one of these uh, squares uh, is going to look uh, a little uh, something. Uh, oh, I don't know. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. It's going to look a little like this. Okay, that's how tomorrow night's going to look, because it's a fill-free <laughs> night, okay? Right. All right, all right. All right. Yeah, but anyway, um, wait a minute, i got to do that again. Wait a minute, what did I do? Oh, I see, I forgot to, let me, I just want to put Phil back on again. There we go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was, you know, I'm still learning this. Hey, thank you very much to Josh. Thanks very much to Phil. Thanks very much to Charlie, to John Perulis. To Jeff Stein and to the lovely and attractive Kevin Stopper. Hopefully, we'll see a, we'll see a lot of you uh, tomorrow night. Why don't you all give a big uh, wave goodbye to the folks out there in Television Land? Okay. All right. There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the um, 
what do you call it? That's the, uh, uh, the citizens panel for tonight. I can get rid of them, I think, all at once, if I'm not mistaken. How do I do that? Uh, uh, I go, uh, wait a minute. hold on a second. Well, they're, they're hanging up on me. Okay, there I go. I just hung up on them, okay? And uh, I'm leaving in the, the, uh, the Skype open so the next show can use it. And that next show, ladies and gentlemen, is the, uh, exchange, uh, the intersection with uh, the lovely and attractive uh, uh, Jack Bishop. Uh, we'll be back again tomorrow night after uh, the franchise MC does his little show here called the uh, the Arena. It's a sports show, and then uh, uh, right after that is uh, Damian Chaplin with the Exchange. And then at ten o'clock, I'll be back here, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay, bye. <laughs>